Okay, so I'm at base camp today. I'm at Let's Golf in Hawley. Today I'm doing some iron testing and I've got the big, uh, sorry, I've got the Callaway iron family here. So we're gonna be testing the Callaway clubs. So what have we got here? We've got the big Bertha oversized iron. So as I bring the club over to you and show you the profile of the club, and um, we're gonna be doing, I hit some shots. We're gonna be showing you the ball data. I've also actually got a cut out of this club as well. So see the BB oversized iron, slightly thicker top edge. Dark and sort of black, sort of gun metal finish. We'll show you the profile of the head as well. Nice looking head, some great technology. I'll explain in this video about the tech behind this particular club. Okay, so we've got the Big Bertha oversized iron. So um, brief on the tech. So we've got uh, the exo cage technology in the head. So that's a, a sort of a back main body that has a lot of the steel cut out of it with some carbon inserts. It's got the internal standing wave pumped for, with tungsten to get that CG progressively lower in the head so as the club number drops down so as you get into the long irons they're trying to get the center of gravity lower to help launch the ball a bit higher so you know they're pitching this product at the sort of the mid high handicap golfer or senior golfer somebody that wants to launch the long irons a little bit higher a bit quicker so you've got the cup face technology you've got that um, insert that layer behind the the face and the the main body of the club as well that polyurethane layer so you know, there's, it, there's quite a bit of tech to this iron. When I first sort of tried this iron, when we got it in, we, we fit Callaway clubs here at Let's Golf. So when I got this club and tried it for the first time, I was, I was pleasantly um, surprised with its performance. So, you know, it's uh, as with all of their clubs, you can't really take a branded club of any kind and say that there isn't any technology behind it. There's a lot of R&D, you know, they really do say what they you know they do what they say on the tin so again we just got the same shaft to keep it with the iron testing that i've done to keep the shaft the same so we really see the performance of the head and we're not distorting it with a different shaft and changing the strike point on the face with that shaft flex or even kick point changing and possibly altering the rpm on the ball as well so um here we go so let's hit a few shots with the uh the bb oversized iron so Again, I've got the chrome soft ball. I'm not using a range ball here. So top thick edge straight away, looking at that, you know, thick top line, very similar to the, the oversize. So it's to promote confidence when we compare that to the Apex Pro and how different that top edge is. So, you know, it's, uh, you look down at it, it's that sort of retro sort of Callaway thick top edge. You know, it's going to be offset. It's promoting hands ahead to square the blade. I like that sort of gun metal, that sort of blackened finish. You're not going to get that chrome glare. Really solid steel head. You know, and this is what I found when I hit this club is that I knew that there was, you know, the technology there is definitely gives the ball a little bit faster speed. Again, you can see the launch, not quite got hold of both of those, but still, you know, they need to be hitting shots here and showing you really what this is like. You know, I'm a human, so no two swings are the same, right? There's gonna be some miss hits. Let's see where these balls go when they're not struck right out the middle. So we need forgiveness, you know, for you guys, for anyone watching this, you're looking for an iron that's gonna have a forgiving off center hit, you know, making sure that you get that CG location, that iron has got a design that really does help you, you know, get maximum out of the golf ball when you're not hitting it right out of the button. So, so that's the Callaway Big Bertha oversized iron and a little bit of the tech. We're gonna see some of the ball data as well. And I've got a cut out of this particular club. I'm gonna show you some of the technology behind the face when I dismantle it. Okay, so I'm very lucky to have the cutouts. I've got a Big Bertha oversize iron, which I've been testing today, and I've got it in pieces. It's been dismantled for me. So 
you know, the Callaway Tech guys, they use this for product training. So let's talk about a few of the main features, the tech behind the Callaway Oversize, sorry, the Big Bertha OS Iron. So the XO cage, what is XO cage? Okay, so we can see that there's sections of weight that have been removed from the head so they can extract that still surplus weight. It's not needed there. They've seen from you know their testing that they could remove still and replace that with carbon fiber um, and insert here carbon fiber and tungsten. So that's what the XO cage is all about and they've got similar technology in their drivers as well. So we can see from the design, it's always good when you look under the hood of these clubs and you know, it's fascinating when you see how this body is constructed and, and how, you know, they, the supporting sort of frame here that they've got these sort of little channels, these little bars that are there to, to make sure that that, you know, that head is constructed and it holds up under the strain of being smashed by golf balls day in, day out. So we can see the hollow head design there. So that cutout section allows for that tungsten carbon fiber insert and that little tungsten badge at the bottom of the face as well. So we've got this surplus weight cut out, this sort of new redesigned weight insert put in so they can affect CG they can put the weight in the right place, how they see fit for this product and who they're pitching it to. So here's our internal standing wave, this weight portal. And that sits at the bottom on the inside of this club head. So that tungsten filled internal standing wave with our badge inserted as well and our little tungsten strip at the bottom, a little badge at the bottom. So now you kind of see when they talk about this technology and describe it, how effective it is because they can make a bigger tungsten weight. They can put more weight with this tungsten, you know, with different weight properties, lower in the head in the longer irons. So they can get the center of gravity, the CG of the club, and they can bring it down to help launch the ball higher, to get that ball sort of launching higher quicker. Um, so you get the performance, you know, the ball up in the air quicker. For the golfer that they're pitching this product at, it's gonna help, you know, get the air, you know, the long irons airborne. So we then move on to the last feature that they promote as part of the tech and design of this, and it's the cup face. Okay, so we're talking about, you know, the face design. The point of this is that they change the metal and the thickness of the metal um, across the face. So when that's inserted, it will have this sort of trampoline property that will help pass energy from club head to ball. So it's gonna have that kind of spring-like effect. Okay, so that's under the hood. That's the BB Oversize Iron and it's tech explained. I've obviously hit a few shots with this iron as well, so we're gonna talk about the ball data a little bit as well. So that's the Big Bertha oversized iron, dismantled, and it's tech explained. Okay, so Big Bertha OS iron, the BBOS iron, from the shots that I hit earlier. Looking at the ball data, gonna keep it in layman's terms, not get too you know, not complicate things too much on this. So ball speed, pretty high. Launch angle, a little bit on the low side. Might have been me hitting it slightly lower on the face. However, slightly low. Definitely came off very hot. So that sort of low launch and spin properties. The spin not too high as well, so it's not climbing and ballooning. So a controllable spin. Distance on average, my normal average with my current gamer was 170. We had 176 on the average on this one. So we had some hot ones there at 179 carry. Not sure if that would really suit me, that real hot one. Not sure, you know, whether I'm going to, you know, the, the, the deviation there was, you know, four yards. You know, not sure whether, you know, I would be able to, you know, really be confident for me. 
um, that being quite hot and you know the distance that I'm used to and got used to um, with my irons um, that whether I would be able to to have that kind of sort of five percent or so gain in that carry distance but fantastic for somebody that's looking for a little extra yardage that isn't going that launches and spins you know helps them get that ball in that you know that kind of zone and just eke out a little bit more distance for them so you know a fantastic product if you're looking for distance gains we know under the hood from the cutouts you know there's some real advanced technology in there as well so you know the exo cage and how they can move weight around the head to get the cg be interesting to see the longer irons how they perform when they bring that center of gravity slightly back and slightly lower to help launch it a bit higher we know that you know callaway's technology that you know you don't lose you know spin um, i.e don't lose control of spins they they never let their iron sort of spin out of control but for me you know if i was looking for a hot iron it's going to give me a little bit more distance you know the bb oversize would be fantastic it'd certainly be fitting into that stable so a good performing club i'll put some of the ball data up a bit a bit larger as well up on the screen you've seen obviously the cutouts and the components of the club and what was under the hood with the technology so giving you kind of a good insight and you know i've shown you demonstrated to you how this club performed for me obviously it's going to it could perform completely different for you and this is the you know the power of club fitting right is that go and get yourself down to a callaway club fitter get yourself testing all of their irons. A good club fitter will know from the briefing and finding out a little bit about your game, where you're struggling and what you're looking for. You know, if you're needing some extra carry distance, you know, the XR steel head or the, B, you know, the BB oversize are the ones that are gonna give you that kind of hot ball speed, you know, get that ball moving off the face a little bit faster. Okay, so that's my data with the, the BB oversize iron. Put it up a little bit bigger as well. Had the cutouts, see me hit a few shots.